guys here everyone <laughs> you got me and it's Gail the storytime girl from the Royal Saskatchewan Museum and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a really silly hat well it's a fish got a nice little tail fins <clears throat> and very stylish fish earrings my dad so why are you saying to yourself boys and girls is Gail wearing a fish on her head today that's a good question. Well, that's because my story today is called Grandmother Fish. And uh, before we get into that, let's do our little warm up to get everything ready. Okay. So boys and girls, reach, 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 reach up really high. But if I were a fish and I had fins, I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay. Now reach down to your toes, reach, reach, reach. Again, a fish doesn't have toes. Okay. Look this way, look that way. Turn all around. All right. Wiggle your ears, roll your eyes, and take a deep, deep sigh. Okay, well, let's get started. My book for you today is called Grandmother Fish, a child's first book of evolution, written by Jonathan Tweet, and the pictures are by Karen Lewis. So what do I mean, boys and girls, when I say, evolution well when things progress or keep going like where do we all come from we have humans and before humans we had what did we have well i'm gonna have to read the book to find out but this goes like back like a long 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 really long time ago to how everything animals like life living creatures got started so let's find out grandmother fish This is our grandmother fish. She lived a long, 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 long time ago. She could wiggle and swim fast. Can you wiggle? And she had jaws to jump with. Can you chomp? Grandmother Fish had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp. Can you find Grandma Reptile? Reptile. This is our grandmother reptile. She lived a long, 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 long time ago. She could crawl across the ground. Can you crawl? And she could breathe air in and out. Can you breathe? Grandmother Reptile had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe. Can you find our grandmother mammal? Mammal. This is our grandmother mammal. She lived a long, long, long time ago. Her babies could squeak when they were hungry. Can you squeak? And she could cuddle her babies and feed them milk as well. Can you cuddle? Grandmother Mammal had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl, and whew, breathe, and squeak, and cuddle. Can you find Grandmother Ape? Ape. This is 
Ruth's grandmother, Ape. She lived a long, long time ago. She could grab branches and climb. Can you grab? And she could hoot, hoot when she was happy. Can you hoot? Grandmother Ape had many grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe and squeak and cuddle and grab and hoot. Can you find our grandmother human? Human. This is our grandmother human. She lived a long time ago. This is our grandmother. She could walk on two feet. Can you walk? And she could talk and tell stories. Can you talk? Grandmother had many kinds of grandchildren. They could wiggle and chomp and crawl and breathe and squeak and cuddle and grab and hoot hoot and walk and talk and, and, and I see one of them here, right here. The end. So there you have it, boys and girls. That's a long time ago. Fish to people? Hmm. I hope you enjoyed my story. And think about, when you think about the ocean and the sea and all those critters that are in there, and everything sort of evolved from fish to where we are now. It's kind of neat. Anyway, remember, there's always magic in this world, and it all starts in your imagination. Until next time, bye.